Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex. And in my previous video, I made a very strong argument that entries don't matter. It's the way you manage your deals that determines your long-term profitability. And how I did that is I entered a buy and sell at the same time and both were, went profitable 75% of the time. Overall, the results were positive. And that means that I mean, if you're entering a buy and a sell at the same time, direction doesn't matter. So I'm going to take this one step further. We've got a PDF that I can make available to you, which details the profitable ways that you can exit the Forex market. And this is most probably the most important information that you will ever get trading the forex market the biggest problem is that most traders spend 90 percent of their time focusing on where to enter and what direction to enter and that could be a total waste of time knowing when and how to exit is way more important because that is when you make the money you don't make the money when you enter your deal you make the money when you've actually close the deal when you exit your deal so exits are more important than the entry so in this PDF we cover 14 ways in which you can profitably exit deals and you're sure to get some really good ideas on how to manage your open deals and how to exit them so let me give you some more details about this free course which is freely downloadable from the link that you'll see in the video. So let's have a look at this uh, free PDF that you can download. And this is part of a series. It's part of the Simple and Easy series. We've already made the Simple and Easy entry methods available. We've also made the Simple and Easy turning points method available. And now the third in the series, the simple and easy exit is now beca becoming available. So let's have a look at what's in this particular course. So looking at the index, you can see there's a section on the challenges that surround deciding where to exit a trade. And then we're looking at specific techniques that you can use. And I'm just going to go through them very quickly. The moving average technique is, is a very popular one because moving averages are trending indicators so they they are very good to tell you when the end of a trend occurs a lot of people think they should be used for the entry of a trend they are much better to show you the end of a trend so moving averages are pretty good bollinger bands strangely enough have a little secret exit signal that is very reliable and is not very well known and that's worth having a look at that then obviously support and resistance is always a good methodology to use for most forex trading then there are also ways to determine targets and those are discussed in the fourth method then following stops is another way to exit trades and a lot of traders actually trade without targets so in other words they just trade with the following stop so the trade can run and that is often a very good way of, of trading uh, especially if you're using a trading stop that is intuitive in other words it starts out big and gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller as the trade progresses this there's, there's a few very interesting trailing stops that you could use there or following stops momentum is also a great exit method and entry met method so basically using the entry method to get in and then the same signal on the on the other side to get out and then volumes uh, is a, another method that is not well all that well known in the forex market but you can clearly see if you look at the charts that when a trend is over there's a huge increase in volume to reverse that trend and that is a very powerful signal not only in forex trading i'm doing quite a bit of uh, uh, crypto trading at the moment cryptocurrencies uh, which is this, a form of forex trading and volumes play a very big role there when there's a spike in volume you get out of your deal or you get into the deal depending on which way you're going 
The, then there are some other methods, honorable mentions. Uh, obviously, candlestick formations are good reversal uh, signals. They are a little bit lagging, but they are quite reliable. There's also price patterns, which, which include uh, double tops, head and shoulders, those kind of things, the traditional ones. Then there are also risk events, and that's also always a good uh, reason to exit a deal when you're coming up to the non-farm payroll and you're 120 pips up, certainly get out of your deal. That's a reason to get out. Then there are also p portfolio exits. So what you would do is you'd be trading four or five different techniques at the same time. And when the overall portfolio is nicely positive, you just close all the deals. That's just another method that uh, we sometimes use. Uh, then time of day factors certainly play a role. Uh, some techniques perform better in high volatile uh, markets, others in low volatile markets. So when you're moving out of your most favorable market environment, then just close the deals. Then price levels are often support and resistance. So they could even they could be round numbers or they could be major support and resistance that have been built up. When a price reaches those particular levels, it's going to battle to get through. So it's a good good thing to uh, a, a good excuse to exit your positive deal. And then historic exhaustion points that is really a, quite a tricky one but once you've mastered that particular technique is pretty good one if you know that historically a particular currency gets exhausted after it's traveled 150 pips then obviously that's when you exit because uh, that is historically what the what how the currency gets controlled by the big boys when it when they they like to see some movement in the currency, but they don't like to see too much movement, so they just bang it back. So please download this book, study it. This book covers a very important and most neglected aspect of forex trading, which is the optimal exit. You can download this ebook from the link that's displayed in the video, and you'll all when you do get to the download point, you'll also find download facilities for the. Simple and easy entries and simple and easy turning point books. And there will be other books in this series. We've got a simple and easy ways to protect your money, simple and easy places to place your stops, and a few other really interesting books that cover all the techniques you need to know to become a competent forex trader. Again, I must stress the importance of exits. You only make money when you exit your transaction. If you exit too early, you're going to make small amounts of money. If you exit too late, the price could retrace and you could also make small amounts of money. So your exit is actually the most important part of trading. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope I've given you some food for thought. And I, I know a lot of people will, will not like the message that I've given in this particular video. But it is a very serious one. People spend 90% of their effort on getting the entry and the direction right. And very little on getting the exit right. So for me, Alex Aploy, cheerio. <laughs>